Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we done a live test last week, our official reveal of the yeah. new Titleist T-Series irons. Uh, today we're gonna to take a deeper dive. So we are gonna test um, today T100 versus, 2019 T, uh, yes. T100 versus this year's T100. Let, let's talk about T100 as yeah. an evolutionary product from AP2. Yeah. Um, the first place we have to start is this is the most played iron on any professional tour worldwide. That's amazing. Right, by any company, not just Titleist. Yeah. It's not just overtaking the MB or CB or anything. This is the number one iron in, in, in professional golf worldwide. Crazy. So, you know, I think what Titleist have created is the modern mold for what a tour player wants. That's a great point. Right? Yeah. It's the, it's the look, mm. it's the feel, and it's the performance, and it's the precision all molded into one one package um, to, to create the ultimate iron. Yeah, and then how do you improve on that, I guess is the question on everyone's tongue, right? Definitely, I mean, and, and hats off to the guys. I mean, they, they really gave us the behind the scenes look at how they, they went about this process and, and uh, you know, huge, huge uh, props to them for doing that because mm. it's very easy for people to be skeptical and go, well, the, the They've put a satin look to this one. <laughs> They've put a new badge. Yes. They've cleaned it up a little bit, but it's probably not that different. Yeah, could not be further from the truth. Yeah, right. They have literally taken what was an unbelievable performing golf club, ripped it apart, mm. and put it back together significantly better than before. We are looking at. We talked a little bit about. I think the focus on the live was the soul. We talked a yes. lot about the soul, the progressive soul. Which I think it's such a great concept. Yeah, it really is. And in this progression of uh, you know soul designs and, and souls being specific for that individual iron, almost. Mm. You know the, the the pitch and wedge design that you're holding. I mean, it was taken from a Voki design. Right. Why wouldn't you take? you know, the, the learnings from, from the one guy who spent his whole craft and career learning about what, does, what, soul does, what souls do people want? What souls work best? And I think that actually is going to be a trend we see in mm. iron development over the next little while. I think we are going to see people look at how, what's the best way to design a four iron soul, mm. a five iron soul, yeah. you know, not just a scoring iron. That's a good point because I think the focus, if I'm not incorrect, recently has been like, the face of yeah, an iron. Very You've much got so. Callaway with the AI face, really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 years ago was all about what's going on with the cavity and yep. the perimeter weighting. And the soul is, I'm not saying it's the untouched frontier, but yeah. relatively, yeah. a lot of irons have a very basic soul. And maybe that's what the next five years look like, just the evolution of how that gets designed differently. You're absolutely right. And at this point, what we're basically saying is that distance and forgiveness are a given. Mm. They are a given. That's just, that's just, part of every iron design now you know yeah. it's it's just in there so where are you going to get those little you know percentage points uh you know and, and marnie and the team who who kind of you know designed these where are they going to get those from and you know there's there there is there's a few kind of spots where they've, they've really managed to get it um you'll hear titleist in, in any of the marketing that they've got talk a lot about tungsten mm. right there's there's a ton of tungsten uh in these uh, these new iron heads um, they've got it positioned heel and toe, right. which is something not every uh, company does. Lots, lots of people put it in the toe. Right. Um, you know, we've seen that from other companies, but to have it positioned in the, 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 uh, the, the heel and the toe, the way they have kind of deep and wide right. from an, to improve obviously MOI, make it significantly more forgiving in that smaller package is, is you know, one of the major keys behind the T100 iron. You know, some of the other manufacturers, their focus can be at times putting weight placement behind the strike. Yes. Well, you're kind of, you know, designing the, the iron to, to perform well in the middle of the face always. Of course. But really what it, where you get, your, you get your kind of performance is managing the miss hits. Definitely. We all know golf is a game of how good is your bad, how good, your, your bad shots yes. and your, your bad swings and your bad days, can they still be good? And, and that's really what they've done here. And hmm. I think by taking the look of it, top line a little bit, thinning yes. that out slightly, contouring the sole slightly differently, making it look in more of a player's iron. It does look slimmer, yeah. But by design, taking it away from being, you know, a, a, you know a, an MB or a, a player's iron, they've, they've kind of got the best of both worlds yeah, totally. going on. Yeah, I think that's the probably the one liner that will appeal to most people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, progressive design as they had with T100, the eight, 
through to gap wedge are, are, are different design. Mm. Uh, the fourth or three through to uh, seven iron are obviously designed with with kind of launch in mind with a you know a slightly different uh, design. I think that allows someone that may have previously gone, oh, I need a combo set to look at these because they do progress. And I, I've recognized that even with my four iron is is a more substantial club than the pitching wedge. The pitching yeah. wedge is really nice. It was mm -hmm. almost like a blade style club. Yeah. It gives you a bit of a kind of a combo set built in. It definitely does. Okay. We're gonna we're just gonna go head to head. Yeah. Wedge to wedge, seven iron to seven iron, four iron to four iron. They're identical um, specs, everything. Exactly. Guys, we do want to do this test also and we will do it outdoors at some point as well because we do understand that the discussion of feel and and obviously the sole design, you know, with, with walls around us here, we're, we're not going to get the full experience of, of that. You know, there's going to be some experience lost in, in the acoustics, which translates into the feel, you know, through the turf versus the mat. Again, that's a feel thing rather than a performance thing. Um, but, you know, we, we will do that test Definitely. outdoor at some point. I would point. love to do that. Okay. Okay. So we've got your T100 uh, wedge here, Matty Boy. That's nice. Lovely. Okay. A flusher. Ooh, it's a nice feel too. You probably, probably couldn't hit two better back to back. Yeah, those felt really nice. Wedges than those. Lovely. Really nice. So, performance wise, they're, they're shaking out basically the same. Yeah, it just would be down to how I swung. Yep. It was a little easier for you to, you certainly got your allocated shots with fewer swings definitely. with the new ones. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll guess, I suppose, or, or kind of um, wonder, is that the sole, you know, is that, is that better kind of through the turf? Is that mm. cleaner kind of contact? All those sorts of things. Definitely um, felt like it was coming through nice and square with an yeah. easier, easier job. Okay, let's go uh, into seven. Beautiful. Nice. Good. Handsome. Nice flight on that. Nice. Good too. Sounds so solid. It really does. One of the things that will fly a little under the radar with um, with the new launch is Titleist have actually tried to, for the first time in a quite a long time, um, try to retain a bit more spin oh, with I this that. arm. That's great. I like to see that. I mean, for me, I, it's not losing any yardage, certainly, because it's no. got plenty of ball speed on it. Definitely. And the flight's a bit higher, which, again, like I think most mm -hmm. people would like to see the ball I'll have the ability to do that because yeah. if you're in that category you you can flight the ball lower when you want to and it is one that we will talk about more extensively when we get t100s in our yeah. hands but really uh when we start looking at the the, the land angle of, of the golf ball so right. you know more the general rule of thumb with, with uh, kind of mid irons is, is anything over 45 degrees is pretty good at tour level, anything around 50 degrees is what we're looking for because we are looking to access mm. some, you know, little tucked pins from time to time in smaller areas of the green because you are able to be more precise. 
um, as, part, as part of your skill set. So you're doing a really nice job with the, the peak height and the, uh, the angle of descent there. Very cool. Really, really nice. Let's pop into the four. This will be quite interesting. Nice strike. Yeah, that was hit well. Really strong strike. Roasty. Good. That's really good. Really like that one. Yeah. That's yeah, see nice. that that looks like a four iron flight to me. <laughs> now we're talking. That's what I'd like to see. That's the one. Love it. It looks higher. Interesting little test. The spin again is, is higher. Yeah. Launch is marginally higher. Um, ball speed is about the same. But we, we're kind of just hit, we're just going through that process with you, there, with you there going, neither are really ideal. Yeah, I don't hit my forearm confidently. I don't. Yeah, think. yeah. I mean, this isn't this isn't obviously ideal because it's too fl it's too flat. If we yes. look at the uh, the peak height, ninety six feet on the T one hundred, one hundred four feet in the uh, the new T one hundred. Fine, we prefer that because your average is about one one fourteen ish right. with the seven iron. I'd like to see that come up with it. We'd maybe. like to see. It. We we don't really want to be dropping twenty feet in height. Right. Um, we will do this test with the T100S because I think this is the, where it would fall into the, the, the conversation. But while we have it, let's hit T200. Mm. Let's, let's see what it does and, and let's see if it's a more suitable uh, four iron for you. Okay. That's got some pop. Ooh. Okay, so throwing T200 in there, got us the jump we wanted in ball speed. Yes. Launch angle hung around about where we wanted, but we did, we did lose a little bit of that spin that we were kind of talking about, that we were liking from the T100. So the T200, I think one of the, the nice things about it, to me, I mean, we, when we were in the live on Thursday last week, we were kind of bending it and we were yeah. kind of playing with it, making sure it was, it was kind of easily, easy to bend. And, you know, I think that is going to be a nice little addition just to find the, the right sweet spot with this. And this is exactly what we've done here. So we found that we were spinning it a little too low. Within that, we lost a little bit of that ball speed, but still got more. Yeah. Got quite a lot more launch. And then there was the spin. So that was the package that we were looking for sort of overall. Mm. Um, and then look at the difference in height. The height was amazing. I hit those last three shots and I thought like that would land in a par three green or a long par three or yep. a long par four green and it looked a lot more friendly. And I think once my speed kind of gets back up to where it was before, that will fly the 220 that I'm used to. And I think that's, honestly, I think that you put together like a perfect four iron there. And that's where it'll be interesting to see once we get the T100S, hmm. is, is that, uh, you know, an appropriate sort of filler or do you go with the bigger head? You know, yeah, do you go and, with this? Maybe someone like me that doesn't generate as much spin, maybe the T2 is perfect. Maybe mm -hmm. the T100S will sit right in the middle yeah. and give someone a little bit more launch and spin, but not maybe as much. Because mm -hmm. there are people that will balloon the ball maybe too much with the T2 in this configuration. Yeah. But it seems perfect for me anyway. It really does. It really yeah. does. I mean, that's, that's ticking. So of all the boxes you and I would like, 
Definitely. Uh, right there, it's, it's landing really, really nice and soft. I mean, almost, almost at that kind of, I think it was 48 degree land angle there it's coming in at, which is... Yeah, amazing. Okay, um, guys, uh, you know, obviously, you can tell that's that from us is is some high praise for the new TC T100 series. Um, the the short and the mid irons exceptional. Yeah. Um, long iron really good also, but in this case, not exactly what we needed. Yeah, I just personally need a bit more height to it, but that's fine. Definitely, definitely. Yep. But uh, overall, some some nice improvements here. Yeah, it was nice to see a little bit more spin on all the clubs throughout. I think yep. that was great improvement. The look of it, the feel of it is quite amazing. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm shocked that they were able to make it feel yeah. so solid like that. Yep. Um, the old ones felt great. It's not like they didn't feel good. It's just amazing that they could improve further and I think they've done a great job on the looks too. It's yeah, great eye. They, they took an exceptional product and, and, and kind of, you know, just, just modified it. Yeah. They just gave it the, the necessary upgrades and, um, you know, kudos to, to Marty and the team for, for doing that and finding those not easy to do. No. Not at all. Not and I think that do. sole long term would be something that would benefit someone like me a lot too yeah. if I get the toe a little bit one way or the other. Absolutely. Coming through the turf a bit more flush. But as we said, we get outside and try that stuff. It'd be a cool to more. try that, eh? Definitely. Good stuff. Okay, guys, um, a little bit more to be done. T100S, we're excited about that once it uh, lands in Canada. Um, T200 and even T300. Yeah, you know, T300 do a bit with that. Is, is one that you and I looked at. And, you know, with the new cosmetic, it's got the chrome finish now, which was missing from the last one. You know, those little subtleties that, that kind of get you feeling one way or the other about it, I think are quite nice. So Definitely. we're going to dig into those a little more. Yeah, look forward to it. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.